I got a long set burns and my hair slicked back. I'm coming to your town in my pink Cadillac. I'm just a honky tonk man. Hey guys, this is Vinay here. Just got back from meeting WWF legend, the Honky Tonk Man. It was an awesome experience. Great guy. Had him sign my Intercontinental Championship belt. Kind of see the signature over there. I've also had uh, Razor Ramon, a.k.a. Scott Hall, sign the belt before, too. But uh, the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWF history. And it was just a real blast meeting him. Shared a lot of great stories. Had a Q&A session. Fans got to ask questions. He went to the, uh, went to the event. And uh, he gave a lot of great insight to wrestling. And some of the injuries he suffered and experiences he had. And it was just a really great time overall. Got back a little later than I wanted, but I'm going to try to see a WWF Royal Rumble. I'm going to have to catch a replay, but uh, I'm going to show you guys a few uh, pictures from the event that I went to and some footage of the Honky Tonk Man. Hope you enjoy it. If you're working in a warehouse, if you're loading trucks, if you're delivering the mail, I mean, uh, serious injuries, I've had necks, backs, perforated ears, chipped teeth, broken ankles, had the, the worst one is having my finger almost torn off, and you guys can look at that on YouTube, I will not look at it. Uh, every injury always says the worst, but on this one, I was lucky to have a finger, I was lucky to have a hand, and when it got hurt, WWE called me for the Santino and offered me a deal to come back, and I said, believe me, if you're an athlete, or you just got signed, or you're gonna sign and do a big movie, and you tell them you're hurt, you're injured, and you can't do it, they politely tell you, well, as soon as you get well, give us a call. <laughs> I did call them when I got well. They were in meetings. Hey guys, Ryan here. Um, me and my friend Vinay went over to see Honky Tonk Man in Culver City today, and it was really, really cool seeing Honky Tonk Man. You know, I've been a huge fan since I was a kid, and one of the coolest parts about it was his Q&A. Um, it's a very... He, he he had his very you know he had his own perspective on you know like went what went in, what went into the ring and what was outside of the ring you know, way back in the day you know back in the early you know the early 90s very late 80s and just really makes you re realize how different wrestling is you know, is like today compared to back then one one night we're in Phoenix I got my son there, he's like five years old, and he, yeah, he's watching Snooker's lives living day right at, toward the end of the match, and then Jimmy was always doing something Jimmy always did too, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Leapfrog, I hit the ropes, come back, Jimmy drops down, karate chops right across the nose. Oh. Oh. Now my head's pounding already. Now I've got blood coming out of both nostrils, just pouring. Now he hits me, I spin around, he slams me, then he climbs to the top. I was able to spin around, I took the slam. Earl Hebner was referee, and Earl was like this. Snooker climbs up. The blood hit people in the front row. Oh. <laughs> Earl, Earl Hebner was covered in blood. He came back to the locker room and he said, Damn, that looked like somebody stomped a tomato out there. <laughs> <laughs> I pick a mean guitar, I wear a blue suede shoes. You ought to hear me sing the snakeskin blues. I'm just the honky tonk man.